The whole number of electors appointed to vote for President of the United States is 538. Within that whole number, a majority is 270. The votes for President of the United States are as follows. Joseph R. Biden, Jr. of the state of Delaware has received 306 votes. Donald J. Trump of the state of Florida has received 232 votes. The whole number of electors appointed to vote for Vice President of the United States is 538. Within that whole number, a majority is 270. The votes for Vice President of the United States are as follows. Kamala D. Harris of the state of California has received 306 votes. Michael R. Pence of the state of Indiana has received 232 votes. The announcement of the state of the vote by the President of the Senate shall be deemed a sufficient declaration of the persons elected President and Vice President of the United States, each for the term beginning on the 20th day of January, 2021, and shall be entered together with the list of the votes on the journals of the Senate and the House of Representatives. The chair now recognizes for the purpose of closing prayer the 62nd chaplain of the United States Senate, Chaplain Barry C. Black. The undersigned, Roy Blunt and Amy Klobuchar, tellers on the part of the Senate, Zoe Lofgren and Rodney Davis, tellers on the part of the House of Representatives, report the following as a result of the ascertainment and counting of the electoral vote for President and Vice President of the United States for the term beginning on the 20th day of January, 2021. The report we make is that Joe Biden and Kamala Harris will be the president and the vice president according to the ballots that have been given to us. There are people dying to my good friend from Illinois to make sure we have a chance to argue among ourselves and when it's over, it is over. It is over. The final thing, Joe Biden, I've traveled the world with Joe. I hoped he lost. I prayed he would lose. He won. He's the legitimate president of the United States. I cannot convince people, certain groups, by my words, but I will tell you by my actions that maybe I, among any, above all others in this body, need to say this. Joe Biden and Kamala Harris are lawfully elected and will become the president and the vice president of the United States on January the 20th. Hi, the world's watching. Like so many other Americans, I am genuinely shocked and saddened that our nation so long the beacon of light and hope for democracy has come to such a dark moment. Through war and strife, America has endured much. And we will endure here and we will prevail again and will prevail now. The work of the moment and the work of the next four years must be the restoration of democracy, of decency, honor, respect, the rule of law, just plain, simple decency, the renewal of the politics. That's about solving problems, looking out for one another, not stoking the flames of hate and chaos. As I said, America is about honor, decency, respect, tolerance. That's who we are. That's who we've always been.